Hello friends, Sentinel H here. Unfortunately, the Revolution uh, 3 server is still down. Um, so, I'm here to show you a really cool setup. So, if you watched the Chromaticraft tutorial video from yesterday, come on sheep, get out of here, then you'll have, um, you'll have seen that I've, I use these lumen lamps and lumen lamp controllers, which is what these are. And I mentioned there that uh, with one of their modes, you could probably make a power meter for your base. So I wanted to put that together in a very quite simple way and uh, and show you how it would work. And I'm definitely going to build this in the Rev3 world eventually when the server comes back up. So over here on the wall, we've got our lamps which form our power meter. Um, two greens, two yellows, two oranges, and a red. So the way that the, the meter obviously works is the more charge we have in our batteries, the more lamps will light up from red to green. And you could put this almost anywhere in your base. I'd like to, I'd probably put it like this, like high up on the on one of the walls. And um, you'd control this by using these uh, these lumen lamp controllers. So now you don't have to put them this close together. They have a, a range of 64 blocks, so you could scatter these throughout your base if you've got battery banks sitting all over the place. You could put one on each of them. I've got seven because I've got seven lamps. Uh, you don't, ha you wouldn't have to do it that way. You could have uh, two lamps or however many lamps you want attached to each uh, controller, but they would all come on and go off at the same time. All right. So I've got these seven batteries that are all empty, and they're all hooked together in series from uh, from this end over to this end. This sheep just won't go away. And I'm going to charge it with this uh, creative capacitor. So this is standing in for whatever your power generation system is. So right now you can see that all of these lights are off. Uh, if I go into these lamp controllers, they're all set to this mode, which is the RF charge state mode. Uh, as soon as there's power in the battery that it's connected to, that it's touching, it, the lamp's going to come on. So let's take a look at it. So if I wire this up, well, they all came on at once. And that's because they all started charging at once. That's fine. Well, that's weird. Okay, so, it, oh, I got it. So it charges all of these at, um, slightly at the same time. I'm not sure if this is actually going to work for the charge up, but it might work for, um, charging it down. So what the, what they, what the RF power has done is that it's, it's charged every battery with 4087 and now it's going to charge this last one all the way. I had no idea that it worked that way. Well that means that that's probably not going to be able to just increase granularly, at least not with these uh, immersive engineering capacitors with the way that they work. But let's uh, clip that off so that it stops. Okay there you go. Um, hmm. So this works in the opposite way from from what I um, I thought it was. So that's my fault. So essentially, what we've got here is this should be switched around the other way, actually. So um, let's go ahead and change it. So this should actually be ordered from the last battery charges first. If you're using immersive engineering capacitors, so you're going to want to put the last battery in your line on the uh, on the red channel. So I'm going to swap that over to the red channel. One, two, three, that's already four, five, six, and seven. So now what we can see is we have our red and orange lamps on because we have power in our last battery and we have power in our second battery, but we don't have any power in our other batteries, so you've only got these two lamps that are lit. Now, if obviously, when while we're charging them, they all come on. But then, when they stop charging, those two will come off. I'll see if I can find a way to fix that, or maybe we'll have to use different types of batteries. I'm pretty sure that that that's not how the um, Electrocraft batteries work. For example, I'm pretty sure they would work properly with this if these can read them, which I assume they can because they're both made by Reika. So now we're gonna drain these battery banks. Oops, why did I do that?
by plugging that in and it should drain that one first yep so it's draining this one first and once that is uh, drained the orange light will go off I wish it would drain a bit faster there the orange light went off now we're on the red light because we're almost out of power and then once this is empty the red light would also go off letting us know that we have no power left so we got there in the end <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this demonstration of the, the power meter. I'm going to tinker with it a bit more, um, but I just wanted to get you some content today. Uh, Revolution Server has been down for quite some time, and I'm really not sure what to put in its place. So give me your suggestions in the comments uh, for things you'd want to see on a Friday or a Monday. Um, if, if Revolution Server is down, we could do Starbound um, or pretty much any other game that I have. So let me see your suggestions in the comments, and I'm going to keep tinkering with this until I get a system that really works well, and then uh, I'll, I'll give you an update later. So thank you so much for watching. Like and comment the video down below if you did enjoy it. Join the Discord if you're at all interested. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.